Imagine finding yourself penniless and far from home in the arid, unpopulated hills of far southern California. Well, fast forward now, a couple of decades later, your family stands atop an agricultural empire on some of the most sought after land in the country. Well, that's the odyssey of a man whose hobby turned out to be the right crop in the right place at the right time. They're packing them up and moving them out. Every day, thousands of palm trees destined for American homes, shopping centers, hotels, and business parks all over the warmer parts of the western states. What sets Barcelo Palms near Fallbrook, California apart is not only the volume, but who's at the helm. Carlos Barcelo, who in 1962 came from Cuba to escape the totalitarian regime of Fidel Castro. He also sought opportunity, and that opportunity came in American agriculture. Over 30 years, Marcelo grew his small California-based nursery into a multi-million dollar operation. As he found success, his young man's idealism shifted. Patriotism had to give way not just to his profession, but to his personal life. I found my wife over here. I fell in love with her, and uh, we got married. I got three kids. And then I started working hard and hard here and there, looking for the best that I could do in order to, in order to do better in my life. Carlos sold his nursery business in the early 90s, thinking it was a good time to retire. But he grew restless and soon found himself back in business as a grower. This time, he turned his hobby, raising palm trees, into a company that now has a half dozen locations and hundreds of employees in California and Arizona. Son Tony is vice president. The, the architects, God bless them, they put the whole Mediterranean tile roof, Mexican look style home, hacienda, uh, which is uh, caters right into the whole palm motif you know, the stucco and, and whatnot. And, you know, if you're going to live in California, especially Southern California, you want to live the California dream, which is palm trees. This remains very much a family affair with mom, Rosa, daughter, Rosa, Tony, and youngest son, Robbie, injured as a child in a swimming pool accident, all pitching in. The Barcelos import their palm stock from other states and countries. Among their most popular, the graceful queen palm fast-growing windmill palms, and their top seller, the sago, which is really not a true palm at all, but a tree of the conifer or pine family, and well-suited for cooler climates. Palm trees suffer from typical plant maladies, aphids, mites, fungus. But bad weather can be damaging as well, with freezing temperatures taking a serious toll on the crop. In one recent winter, nature took a cold, hard swipe at the Barcelos business. This plant got frozen. It froze, we got down to 14 degrees here. Okay, we have to, to trim them all of it. Yeah. All of them, and leave just the heart, and, and wait for them to come back. Clipping the plant back spurs new growth, but that takes time. It could take, it depends on where you live. Um, the warmer the climate, the faster it will recuperate. Um, it could take anywhere between four to eight months. And to, a, to a year. Sometimes. To a year. As many farmers and growers know, you often have to be patient and wait for time to improve your crop for future harvests. Well into his second career in agriculture, Carlos says the important thing is finding what you like and sticking to it. It's the American dream. The American dream. Yes. And if you do what you have to do, you're honest, you are working and you do what you have to do, you can accomplish that in life, yes. <laughs>